Good morning, children. I hope all of you are fine at home and do take care of yourself. Stay safe. Follow all the instructions which are being given to you by the government. Keep yourself hydrated and take good care of yourself. Okay. Coming back to the topic. In the first lecture which we conducted, we discussed about the various life processes which are necessary for an organism to survive. For the example, all these life processes were nutrition, respiration, transportation, excretion, nervous coordination and reproduction. We discussed about the various characteristics of the living organisms. Moving forward, let us now start up with the nutrition and the modes of nutrition. Nutrition is the process of procuring food. Procuring food means taking in food and utilizing it to obtain energy in order to grow, in order to repair the worn out cells and make our immune system stronger, in order to reproduce, in order to remove the excretory material or the waste material from our body. There are different modes of nutrition. Modes of nutrition means the ways of obtaining food. Broadly, we classify these modes of nutrition into autotrophic mode of nutrition and heterotrophic mode of nutrition. Autotrophic mode of nutrition. The word autotrophic itself composed of two words. Auto means self, trophos means nutrition. Means the mode of nutrition in which organisms are capable of synthesizing their own food. For example, in case of green plants, they can prepare their own food by the process of photosynthesis. But they need to take out take certain raw materials like carbon dioxide, like sunlight, sunlight from their surroundings. So autotrophic mode of nutrition is the mode of nutrition in which organisms are capable of synthesizing their own food. For example, green plants, for example, certain bacteria. And such auto such organisms which have autotrophic mode of nutrition are known as autotrophs. But there are a large number of organisms which are not capable of synthesizing their own food but are dependent upon the autotrophs for obtaining their food. The word heterotrophic means hetero means other Trophos means nutrition. The mode of nutrition in which the organisms are dependent on other organisms to obtain their food, food is known as heterotrophic mode of nutrition. And the same way we call those organisms as heterotrophs. For example, animals, for example, human beings, for example, various fungi, various parasites which live on other organisms to obtain their own, obtain their food. Heterotrophic mode of nutrition can further be classified as saprotrophic nutrition, as parasitic nutrition and as holozoic nutrition. Now we will be discussing all these three modes of nutrition one by one. The first one is the saprotrophic mode of nutrition. The word sapro means rotten. Trophos again means the nutrition. The mode of nutrition in which organisms 